Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to episode 6 of Tame Wild, the home of beasts. Well, I finally have made up my mind where the Miner's Guild will be at, and a couple of other things will transpire today. So, at this point, we enter the real depths of the mountain, and I figured that this is exactly where I want to have the Miner's Guild. If you pass this hallway, the one that we are widening out here, you enter a shaft that leads to all of the different quarries and caverns and you name it. So I feel like, yeah, that is uh, absolutely where I want to have the guild. So since the miners always contribute very, very much to the wealth of the city and to the visuals of the city, I want to give them a pretty fancy one, at least shape-wise. So here it goes, we, we can totally expand on that, something like that, yo. So we're gonna be widening the shaft like this, and let's see, I should, oh that's tree chopping, now that won't work. So, no, no, we're digging some stairs. Oh, autumn is upon us. That means metal is near. That is really good because I grew very, very angsty lately. Because, well, we are getting closer to 80 people in the fort. And that is Dwarf Fortress internal standard timer when stuff will attack you. Raid-wise and such. So... Let's see, did the glass industry get anywhere? Did you guys produce anything so far? So... Yes, yes. Wonderful! It works, my friends, it works. So that means the safety on that end is provided. The idea of mine is a very simple one. We're going to go and dig out the recreational pastures down here where we're going to breed war animals and such and up here i will store some war animals yeah so probably even in a smaller chamber i haven't fully figured that out yet but my plan is to pipeline goblin and baiters so that was not on plan okay Snatchers. Yeah, that uh, that had to happen eventually. So, well, let's see if we can assign already somebody as a fighter. Oh boy, my mayor is not running around with something decent all that time. Vukar the Gelder. Hmm. That's the militia commander. I didn't make it up. No, not the guard. The militia commanders. Squad, the windy boats. So, yeah, sadly, no legendary fighters migrated towards us. I already foresaw that. So, Vukar will be on his own. Well, let's do as follows. Maybe we can get this done that way. Bring the war elephant, Eurist. They deserve nothing better than that. So we're going to seal off all other entrances into the fort, except for the one that leads over our magnificent... Uh... All right, never mind. Pastures. So one snatcher went into the box. I, I totally didn't want that to happen. Very, very disappointed with myself here. I didn't want a goblin in a cage. This is unforgivable. So, to make things, uh, to amend myself from this crime, we're going to do another crime. So, we're going to lock the goblin into a box with our war elephant and see what happens. I mean, come on. If I... If I mess it up like that, I have to make it up... I have to make up for you guys somehow better. So both went into traps somehow. That is uh, very, very unfortunate. These traps are meant for animals, not for 
for other people, but not for goblins. So we have to work on this. We clearly have to work on this. So we're going to have to do a connector here. Yes, yes. Otherwise, the enemy is way too inclined to move over cage traps. That being said, we don't need these internal cage traps anymore. Because we're going to have a war animal security facility. Yeah, so I'm very, very sorry about the, uh, the, the snatcher incident. Let's fix that. I mean, it's going to be also a very interesting experiment and so far as I want to know what um, what fighting behavior war animals show. So, at the end of the day, this is uh, a study in dwarven science. So, it's okay. But whoever built those cages, he will have to face severe consequences. Sadly, I can't punish uh, somebody with the justice system because I say so. There has to be a crime involved, but uh, since I put this up as a uh, as a uh, as something that I don't want to do, I roleplay wise, somebody here, the mayor specifically, is pissed. So you see. All right. So let's check that out. I think this is. Uh, not true, but, well, where the hell is, uh, are you now supposed to do anything? So, you know, it's just a random rumor that I want to work animals. I've never seen that task. We can't assign work animals to, to single workers. Wow. That is, you know, it, it sometimes uh, obviously pays off to just uh, click around, but uh, somebody m said that you would be seen in, wait a second, maybe here? No. So I have to reread that. Never mind me fumbling around. So, he claimed a clothier's workshop, obviously. Let's hope he has all the materials he requires. Yep. Just some sick, some silk cloth, and uh, that's all he needed. Good. So. Yep. Looks very, very nice to me. It also offers us a nice amount of uh, rock salt to work with, so what's not to like about that? Now, yeah, I can tell you what's not to like about that. This is uh, drawing this entire area, but you know what? We're just going to include the main stairway. Why not? Or nah. Nah, that'd be lazy. The main stairway ain't not part of the uh, whole thing. Oh, wait a sec. I, I need to do it differently. The walls here should be still included, but the center part not. Yep. That's it. Okay. The Guild of Depth. There we go. Approved. We just need to lay down some... some floor on this uh, site, but we'll... One thing at a time. Who's visiting us? The human poet Mothak. I think I... This guy is following my fortresses since a while, too. We have general familiarity with unicorn taming methods. Sweet deal. So, let's keep going down here. Because that recreational pasture will have to be huge. Why did I leave those out? Come on. Alert. So, the caravan has arrived. Okay. And I thought something bad would happen. No, it's just our friends. So I really don't know if we have made enough uh, gemstone. 
Hmm. Do we even have gemstone? Or am I blind right now? I bet they are in a bin right now. So, because we, we lately had have had the, the latest uh, innovation. Bins. Mass-produced bins. So, yeah. No more lying around gemstone. Okay, we're going to transport our gemstone up there and uh, do the good old-fashioned trade. A silk skirt. Okay. Rhythmic Righteous the Skewered Controllers. That sounds like a very, very weird thing. Oh, look, it even has a picture of the toy boat that has been crafted here in the, in the fort already. Hello, good sir. Iron and bronze, please. Thank you. The usual suspects. All right. Let's ask for the trader as they are unpacking the trade elephant. I mean, I am probably very, 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 very lucky this run as my culture has elephants as carrying animals. This means their transport weight is insane. I think I could even sell them pretty heavy weight items because of that, because there is no... Look at how much wood they carry. <laughs> it's crazy. So I really want to have these people as a full-on uh, culture that can provide for us. So we need some fresh cave spider silk cloth. I hate that word. And <laughs> that's that. And so we're gonna put another gem on the, on the trade to sweeten the deal and gift away these cut zircons with the best greetings to the mountain home. All right, so that should give Tame Wild a little bit of an, uh, of an edge, weapons-wise, because I think, yeah, I think we have now, with that trade caravan unlo uh, unloaded, we should have all we require to get a real little army going. So, our mayor ain't happy with his quarters, so... Yeah, I mean, that dining hall is also a little bit uh, cramped in it. So, well, we're gonna swing the uh, the art mallet and hit it hard with the art. So, you see, sometimes the dwarf has to do what the dwarf has to do. So, we are also finally getting the first traps down. Okay, so, next step. We will arrange another experimental pasture. The war crime pasture. I mean, this is... Uh, I wouldn't want to be in there if I was that goblin. I mean, the, the room itself... I don't know if it's large enough for an elephant, but I highly doubt it. So, well... We're going to go like this. And then we're going to unassign this. And then we're going to seal off the rest of the uh, fort. One way or another, the elephant will get him. So... I really, really have to monitor this, though. So let's see if we can pick it up in the task manager. So, it is somewhere out there, I know it, but I don't see it. Ah, here, release, release the dude. So currently, our dwarves are all so busy that nobody is picking up that uh, task. I know why, they're all smoothing the, uh, the miners guild, that's why. But that can't last forever, so... Yeah. This room also does not really provide enough food for the war elephant in a, in a prolonged uh, fashion. Alright. 
And let's hope that the under lichen in here will keep the elephant alive and will. Come on, you! Seems like cage opening is really a task that uh, does not really go past. No. Okay, well, we're just going to chuck out more of that. And hope that the elephant can sustain itself on this uh, little meadow here. But I think with so many uh, squares exposed, ultimately, there should be enough food for the little critter. So... I think I have to untask this for a moment, because it is just too dangerous for me to leave that uh, unmonitored. So let's get back to the uh, Miner's Guild. Alright, we go with some good old floor. Why not, Gabbro? So, really interesting comments have reached me. Somebody mentioned that we should tin glaze uh, pottery. I totally like that idea, but I need to look up how that worked again. And uh, the problem with that is I haven't found a clay supply yet, so it might be that we are unable to do that. But yeah, I really, really like that idea. Somebody mentioned Kaolinite, and I don't know where, where where that kind of person spotted it, but I will have an eye out on that. Maybe, maybe I overlooked that. I don't know. Anyways, so the weapon trap is in place. Second one is being uh, built too. Hell yeah! So this gives me a much better feeling. So let's. Put the recreational pasture down here. Hop. And, well, I haven't made up my mind yet how we're going to manage this whole ordeal. But I want to have my Regular animals on auto butchering and the war type of animals, I don't know yet. So let's see, the rhinos here, the trained ones will now get unboxed and uh, sent down here. So this is going to be the rhino meadow. I think I will hold the unicorns somewhere else because it just feels wrong to have rhinos and unicorns on the same meadow. Okay, they share the horn on their, uh, on their forehead, but... Uh, So, our place is being haunted by the spirit of that one dwarven child which was unable to fulfill its artifact. He came here like that, so I am absolutely innocent towards that. He came here as a immigrant already stricken with melancholy. I've never seen that before. This is something uh, I didn't even know that it was possible. Anyways, so let's see. The mayor, Foth, is finally happy. Love to see that. So we're going to go and slate floor this district as we have finished all the required prerequisites. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is going to be grand. So, and we have, as a matter of fact, enough enough of these uh, available. I am really, really happy to see that. So things are coming together here in the fort. It's always a very pleasant moment for me personally when you have built some some part of the city and you can floor it in one go. That's always a good uh, thing. So the the kiddo is watching how the city is being built. Kid? Wait a sec. 
Oh, it is following the child. I misread that. So a tear is being followed by this, uh, by the spirit of the master clothier. So we we have to um, relieve the poor kid from that situation. So here we block them from carrying around the dolomite slab. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. And we're going to engrave that immediately. And set it up. Obviously, we're going to set it up in the new city, as this is where Dumont has been haunting the poor child. So we're going to put the burial slab. Wait a sec, that's the wrong slab here. We're going to put the burial slab over here, I guess. Well, that ain't floored yet. Ugh. So, the Dwarven Ministry of Orderliness requires a piece of flooring down there, because I don't want to uninstall a burial slab once it's erected. Come on. So, new people are arriving. We have an engraver arriving. Fath, the other bone, the other Fath, the bone doctor from the previous episode, uh, season. Catton the surgeon, I, I remember that one. And a couple of kids. So, Enod, the engraver. If I remember correctly... No, that name comes uh, comes in weirdly familiar. Whatever. So, yeah, let's do this like that. I already made up my mind that I'm going to floor this place with... Um, with Gabro, so that ain't much of a big deal. So, we are past 82 people. That means we are now officially raidable. This is really, really uh, scary. But on the bright side, we'll... We got all the stuff that we need to defend ourselves. Wow, five new kids. That's a lot. So, we got nine iron bars and nine bronze bars, and a staggering wealth of tin bars, but that was uh, what I what I wanted to do. And they are only getting started! <laughs> Brilliant. So, we're going to go and have... Let's see... Weaponsmith. This one is uh, assigned to the legendary Weaponsmith. And this is going to be assigned to... Oh no! Come on, are you kidding me? That can't be. Look at that. Proficient armor smith. And if I type in armor, it doesn't show up. Come on! That is so weird. This must be a bug. So, alright. We might not have a legendary armor smith yet. But uh, we have a proficient one, and I think this is as good as it gets. So, Aloth, the legendary miner, is going to be... Or, or is it Aloth? I think this is... I think it should be Aloth. Whatever. I don't know. And uh, I, maybe somebody wants to enlighten me. That also means that Aloth, I will call him henceforth like that, is no longer bound to be a miner. So, we're gonna be now ordering. That's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty rough. So, we're gonna be ordering two iron breastplates. That's six bars. Then we have three bars left. So, we're going to order bronze reeves. Bronze Elms, that's four bars if I'm not mistaken. Don't know if the Greaves need more. And we have Helm, Greaves, and Low Boots. So that should be six bars. Leaves up three bars. We only lack now Gauntlets. And that's that. And I... 
put these on the wrong watch. No, I'm so stupid. Ah, well, uh, let's, let's do that again. So, bronze low boot. Bronze helm, because I deem the head as one of the most important parts to protect. And bronze leaves. So, there we go. And we're going to forge ourselves an iron short sword and a bronze spear. Okay, so hard to tell how well that'll work, but we're going to do our best. The ghost of the clothier has been put to rest and the city keeps growing and growing. The only thing that relieves my uh, my my weary, angsty self is that we are getting closer to to a military squad, and things will be fine. We also train the rhinos soon. Now let's go for our dwarf of the day. That's going to be Aloth. He strongly prefers discussions of ideas and abstract concepts over handling specific practical issues. He does not generally respond to emotional appeals and he tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things. He is quick to form negative views about things and he tries to keep his things orderly. He has a greedy streak and he prefers to present himself modestly. He enjoys the company of others and he quite often tells pointless stories when he's bored. I, uh, oh boy. What a, what a uh, nice guy. He's almost like me. Aloth likes native copper, nickel silver, crystal opal, giant coyote leather, alpaca wool leggings, and giant peach-faced lovebirds for their loving nature. When possible, he prefers to consume tomato wine. Whoa! He absolutely detests leeches. Who doesn't, Aloth? Who doesn't? So... I'm I, I I am doing this like that now and wait a sec this is uh, we are on that side of this season aren't we I really need to start writing these down so winter 113 he is he is a real um OG member of the faction and I think this uh, is wonderful okay so the guild hall ain't finished yet so let's hit it hard with the art I think this is the easiest way to get the job done. I also need to reconfigure something. So unicorns are fighting. Why are the unicorns fighting? They're getting eviscerated in our traps. Alright. Seems like it's an entree of uh, unicorn roast today. I don't know which unicorns those were. So hopefully not mine, but I don't think so. I mean, if so, they, they regrow here, and personally don't think that the dwarves have a strong emotional, mythological bond to these unicorns. I just can't imagine it like that. All right, so the Miner's Guild only has one more flaw. It is not open for all visitors. There we go. So, well, I'll end today's episode with the, tedi with the tedious busy work of fetching in doors and beds and putting down bedrooms. I thank you all so much for watching. I think today we've made a big step forward. We have the defense pasture. I mean, it ain't ready yet for uh, for for what it's uh, supposed to be, but it's, it's almost there. Next episode, I'm pretty positive that we can have our first animal-powered defense system already running. So that's a great step forward. Leave me your comments down below, let me know what you guys uh, felt about today, and leave a thumbs up on the video to show the algorithm that you want to have it there, and uh, to have it uh, good visible. Oh boy, my English is not Englishing anymore.
Subscribe, be so kind. If you are around often, I do daily dosages of Dorf and down there in the description box, you find more links that have more seasons of my Dwarf Fortress gameplays, more Discord, and there's also Twitch, and there's also my support links. There's PayPal, Patreon, buy me a coffee. And if you'd be so kind to support, it would make me more than happy. A big thanks to all the supporters of Icon Gaming at this point. You guys really, really rock. And a big, big thanks to you, especially you out there watching this video right here, right now. You rock amazingly hard as well because you know it means more to me than you might think so see you all on the next episode when we're going to erect the war pastures and start the rhino breeding program see you there bye bye